the button. Wait, you got you all, as usual. You got my mic all messed up. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like I got to step on it or something. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done. They said it wouldn't last. White man, black man, America F1. <laughs> America F1 coming to you straight from San Francisco, California. Sherman Tillman, Michael Lawler. America F1. What's happening, YouTube? Okay, these glasses are bugging me now. All right. Sherman Sherman has his uh, Elvis impersonator glasses on today. We are celebrating the, a the great Miami, Miami Grand, Grand Prix. Prix. That's where we get our, our hey, son. Bye. Our son where? Our son by, the way, by the way, who won? Miami, the, Miami. Who, who, come won, who Miami won the race? chain. And I got my Miami glasses. Those are Elvis glasses. Whatever. And, I said, oh, bless and, my soul. What's the well, well, hey, 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 baby, how you doing? I'm Welcome to present. America F1, where we are celebrating Lando Norris victory. Woo! It only took him 111 Grand Prix to win a race, but he won so, a race. on... Lando, let's give Lando some flowers. He 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 drove really well, he, especially that last stint because he gapped Max. I don't know what Max was up to, but Max was not happy that whole race. <laughs> he was not happy at so all. So before Lando Norris won this race, he had gone a hundred and ten. Oh, by the way, by the way, hold on. Cheers, cheers. I'm drinking water. Last day, last day of drinking for a while. Cheers. <laughs> Lando Norris, genius. 110 races. 111. Wait, let me do my thing. Okay, never mind. 100, Lando Norris. 110 races before his first race win. 15 podiums. Eight second places. Seven eight third second places? places. He was Damn. born November 13th, 1999. He's 24, the same age as my... He's only 24? Same age as my oldest daughter. He has 716 career points. Jesus. Now he has 16 podiums. Did you actually write all this down? Yes, I did. One pole, <laughs> six, oh six professional fastest here. laps. His first race was 2019, the Australian Grand Prix. So he's, he's five years in? This is his fifth year? He's a former Formula Renault champion for 2014, 2015, 2016. He's but he a, didn't win the GP2 he's championship. He's a European Cup champion. He's an F3 champion. But Lando he, he Norris came second in the F2 because Russell beat him. By is a point. now an F1 winner. Formula Grand Prix winner of the Miami Grand Prix. I think that dude who's who's uh, running the, the McLaren team, is it and- Andreas Stella? Is that his name? Yeah. Yes. He's like the new Adrian Newey. He's, yeah. he's, he's the next guy because his car. They just brought they brought upgrades to this race. I want to see what they're going to do in the next. What's the next race? What's wait? Say that guy's name again. Is it Andrea uh, Stella? Or yes. Stella? Props out to Andrea Stella. The reason why Andrea Stella. Okay. Think about this. He came on board last year. Mm-hmm. In the beginning of last year, the McLaren car was a dog. No, the McLaren. The but, McLaren. Ah, it wasn't that great. Yeah, but the tires. That's why but, they did. But it wasn't that great. We don't know. We'll never know because they changed the tires after then, the season. They had upgrades basically toward the middle of the season in Austria. And after that date, McLaren has been a contender to for podiums ever since then. And conversely, the customer team of the Mercedes Benz engine, Mercedes Benz has gone backwards. McLaren has gone forwards. What does that say about Total Wolf? The the car sucks. The what does that Merce- say about the Mercedes Total Wolf? is a piece of junk. They should have what they should have done is they should have uh the last year's car, the twenty twenty three car, which is now the Red Bull car. <laughs> it's so funny how that car looks so much like the last year's <laughs> last year's Mercedes is so funny to me. We won the championship, but we're gonna make a car that looks like your car from last year and we're gonna make it better. They should have did a, a. I mean, I love the way the new Mercedes looks. I think it's the prettiest car, but it's a dog. It's a straight up dog. They should have developed last year's car to this year's car. I have no idea what they're doing at Mercedes well, right now. Let's. And their engine isn't what it used to be. Remember when they won all those championships? Yeah. They had like 20 or 50 horsepower on everybody, which in auto racing 
is huge. It's like right now they're fast on the straights. The now Honda, like the Honda the is the best engine again, um, and I'm still surprised that Honda and Red Bull didn't stay together. Well, that, we kind of digressed off of Lando, and let's. Oh, I want to really, really talk about Lando and really talk about his journey. Think about this. He's been in F1 since 1999, and he finally got a victory. Well, he's on a hoopty team. He's on, they're, they're basically a privateer team. Like It's Williams and McLaren are the two privateer teams now. They're not, they, they don't have a, a, a constructor. They're not, a, they're, not a, they're not like Ferrari or Mercedes. They make their own engine. They they don't make their engine. They're not they're they're they're, they're not a, a factory team. team. They're a customer team. Yeah, but so is Aston Martin's a customer team of a Mercedes. Well, and, Aston and Martin Haas is, is a soon team to be the Ferrari, and so is uh, Aston Martin will be the Honda F1 team in 2026. Right, but not right or now. 2020, no, 2026. Um, because uh, Lawrence Stroll, who as much as I like to tease him about being a richy rich crazy man, he's smart as he- he's smart yeah. as hell. Because well, he's be he just him. sold. His team, a chunk of the team, to Aramco yeah, for twenty five percent, way more money than he paid for the team. So he's making money off this deal. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure Aramco is going to end up owning a majority stake in the team, sort of like how the Red Bull team was owned by fifty one percent was owned by the Thai people, which mm-hmm. I just found we found out recently about because all the nonsense that's going on at Red Bull right now. Right, and forty nine percent was owned by uh, Dietrich Mateschitz, who died a couple years ago. Um, and now there's this power struggle at Red Bull. Red Bull is screwed. Well, they, I don't know if they're screwed, but who cares if they're screwed or not right now? All I want to talk about is Lando! <laughs> Lando, Lando, Lando. Lando, Lando, Lando. Well, no, Lando, Lando, Lando. We have to talk it's about... It's a celebration of Lando. We got. We could talk about these other people later. Let's talk about the pressure that Lando was under and all the things he was thinking about when he was ahead. And matter of fact, at one point, he put up... He, he finished about six six seconds ahead of he was seven seconds ahead Max. So like he gapped he gapped him at the end, but I I think Max just kind of like well they said his floor had a hole in it also. Oh well then that, then that, that's the whole that's the that that's not okay ninety percent of the performance of a of a Formula One car is the tires. The other ten percent basically is the floor. All the crap on top of the car that doesn't really mean it. Well the arrow I wouldn't come on. The arrow make, makes a big deal. Look, that's why the, well, if you have too I mean, much drag, a, then you can't get to the corners. Sherman just didn't listen to me. I just said 90% of the performance I, I, of a race car is from the tires. Let's go, let's go other, 85. No, it's let's go 90%. 80. Let's go 80. You've never driven a race car. Let's go 80. When I have. When are we going? When are we going? When are we going? Look, why can't you ever stay on subject? <laughs> Seriously. Let, I, let's talk about I'm Lando. I'm going to pay for his let's cart Let's talk day. about Lando, Okay. I want to talk about Lando because it's a celebration of Lando, <laughs> bitches, and it's about Lando. It's not about all this okay, other stuff. Okay, Lando. Let's talk about Lando. Get on with talk it. Talk about your first win and, and compare how the pressure of trying to get that first win. Just think about this guy's been one of the up and coming, supposedly the the you know one of the good per- people of his generation, right? You have Charles Leclerc who has five victories. Carl Sainz is older, so we, we're not going to count Carl him. Carl Sainz is not part of their generation. George, George Russell, who has won one victory. We have Alex Albon. 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 Alex Albon. Why did I tongue twist on his name? He he only had he almost had a victory. Remember when he was with Red Bull, and then mm-hmm. then uh, Hamilton hit him yep. and apologized to him. That was at the. And that uh, would have been his victory. That was, yeah, that was like not, that was not a good day for uh, Hamilton. He, no. he he made a huge mistake that day, but. That was at the uh, Red Bull Ring, which is one of my favorite tracks. And so... And you've been there. Yes. So Albon... So the generation is Albon, Norris, Leclerc. Max is actually in their their little crew. And... Yeah, they all they all came up together. They're all about the same and age. And George. So that, so that all those... Those, those, those four or five guys are all... The, they're all... They all race together. If you look on YouTube, you can see them driving carts together. And, so and the, Max kicked the crap out of everyone. He's the best driver of this group. But they're all really good. But Charles Leclerc won the F two championship, though. He also did he. he? Yes, he has uh, an F two championship. Also. So is George Russell. Yes, but I would say out of those, I rank Leclerc the best out of those. I mean, well, obviously Max is the best out of that group. Oh no, Max waxed everybody right. in carts. So, so Max, if you beat somebody in carts, that's like a to me that's the biggest deal because they're, you're all driving the same stuff. If I beat you in the same car, I'm better than you are. The so, end. 
So Max, and then probably Leclerc, <clears throat> and then I'm going to probably go with Norris. And I still think Albon's better than George. You like George better than Albon. I don't think so. Because I w- w- George makes too many mistakes. And what do you mean he makes too many d- mistakes? He makes too many mistakes. Dude, well, he's, been, he's, he's even with Hamilton right now. They're basically an even teammate. I mean, their car sucks. He, he destroyed him. Hamilton <clears throat> destroyed him last year. But let's talk about, and let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Your first win... Mm-hmm. Talk about how long it took, and talk about the pressure you think that Lando's been under to win this fi- first race. Because people have been calling him no win, Norris. Well, That's what, he's not on the best. Which, season. which I don't think they should have done. I never would say no I, win, I Norris. Never, I, never I never said that. About I never him. heard anybody say that about Lando. But but apparently on first, his feed, he says a lot of people were your, saying your that. first win is so weirdly anticlimactic because the first time I won a race, I won a sprint race. <clears throat> and then I won the main the same day. Mm-hmm. And it was like every race I was in before that, except for one, I crashed out of the race. <laughs> I caused one of the worst accidents ever at, at the cart track up there. And because <clears throat> I went I went full blast in turn one. Um and it, at the beginning of the race, you gotta be it's 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 you you can't and this is how I learned this. And the guy stopped in the corner. He was he was backed up, and I hit him like this in the cart, and I went up in the air. And all oh I, wow! All I saw was blue, and it was like, oh, this is really bad. I mean, I went up up into the air. I did a one eighty, and I came down. Wow! Completely destroyed my car. Okay. The chassis. I had to buy a new chassis a couple months later. And I was like, one race after another, I kept crashing out for some reason, and then I popped off a victory, and then no one could beat me out. It was, uh, but I it was anticlimactic. It was the only time I really enjoyed a victory was when I won my championship because I just dominated that day. And I had, I went to the gym every day. I wasn't drinking that week. I showed up to the track at like seven a.m. The practice wasn't until ten. Yeah. I mean, I was like so focused. I was hydrated. I was like, and I was just on a mission. And it was. But like, how do you relate what you went through to what Lando has gone through? And it took him longer. I mean, like they asked. Lewis, hey, what do, what does it mean comparatively when you had your first victory? And he's like, well, you know, I didn't have to wait as long. Yeah, because <laughs> he, like, he was on the McLaren when the McLaren was a McLaren. He, so he won right away. No, he he's didn't a, win right away. It what? took him like seven or eight or nine races, and then he won the Canadian Grand Prix in two thousand seven. He was the best rookie ever, ever, ever. Um, Should have won the championship. It was it was so funny because they like he was the first black driver in Formula One. For about three seconds, and then everyone's like, "We got to beat the black guy too." What the hell's going on here? Was, what do you mean three seconds? He's the only black guy. No, but I mean, one. they they because a lot of times when they do this, the, the racial bullshit. I think it's nonsense. Like he's a, he's the first black driver. Yeah, he was the first black driver, and then everyone realized how good he was, and they were like, "Oh, oh, we got to beat him too." Oh shoot, you yeah, know? Yeah, it's it, like that, when that, when a woman comes into Formula One, you think that'll ever happen? Oh yeah. For sure. She's going to come into Formula 1 she's going to kick the shit out of everybody. She's going to be great. It's not You gonna think be, so? Not like a Danica Patrick. Danica Patrick was pretty good. She and only I, won one race. Though. I saw a documentary on Janet Guthrie. I didn't realize how good Janet Guthrie was. She was the first woman ever to race at Indy. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the misogynistic drivers of that era destroyed her career. They would not let her. She, could, she never got into good, a good car. But she was a championship race car driver before she... Went into that, and then she was in NASCAR for a while. I didn't even know she was ever in NASCAR. Way before uh, Danica, before Danica Patrick was even born. Really, I didn't know that. But they eventually, because auto racing is such a niche sport, and you have to have so much goddamn money to do it nowadays. So we talked about this before, and Mike has promised me that he's not going to use the Lord's name in vain. And my wife has asked him not to do it. I'm asking him again. <laughs> Not to use did the I word's use, name. Yes. On, what did I do? On, you said the G damn it. And we don't want to hear that. Okay? We other curse words you we're trying to control Mike's cursing. <laughs> I but, do curse too much. But, He's right about that. I mean, it's a show for adults. If you curse, that's fine, but I just don't want you to use God's name in vain. If if you could stop, Okay, let's stop move on. That. So we God I, is good. God is good. <laughs> All the time. Uh Lando Norris. <laughs> I'm so happy for, and I call him the Wookie because you know the Lando. Wookie? Yeah, because Lando Norris, Lando Calrissian from Star Wars, and the other day was May the Fourth. Oh god! And so I'm nerding out. So I call Lando 
Chewbacca, or I call him the Wookiee. That's my nickname for him. And I was think the movie he, any good? I think he should take that nickname. I think was Lando, if you're listening, you should be the Wookiee. That is a great nickname, and you could sell super merch with that. It could be like the Wookiee, and you could have like you, and you could have a bushy hair. I think that would be a great nickname for you. You could sell a lot of merch. Either call yourself the Wookiee or call yourself Chewy. Either one. You so could do the, it, man. Was, you was could do it. Star, or the new Star Wars movie any good? It, there's not a new Star Wars movie out right now. I thought you said it came out May 4th. May f- Oh, you're so so not knowing about pop culture it's called may the 4th and so may the 4th they say may the 4th so may the 4th is a play on words may the 4th be with you come on mike oh my wow. god you just, so you so i not remember with it, when dude. when stupid star wars came out so in 1977 not so not and all the dorks like sherman over here they went and saw huh? this movie like three or four hundred times. I didn't see it three, four hundred times. There was I one kid in my school. Wars, his parents, his parents would drop times. him off at the movie theater in Dublin, California, oh, and he gosh. would watch it over and over and over again every Saturday and Sunday as long as the movie was in the movie theaters. And he said to me one day, I've seen Star Wars 352 times. We would be honored the end. if you would That's join my story, us. and I'm sticking to it. We would like you to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, America F1. We are on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, We're on Amazon We're Music. We're everywhere. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> are you still wearing your sunglasses? Um, yes, I am. Are you doing the sunglasses the whole on, time? Yeah, I totally am. On uh, Instagram, it's America Media F1. Okay. On everything else, it's America F1. We're on Twitter. We're on TikTok, as long as TikTok's around. So please join us on is one TikTok of our... Is TikTok going to leave? Well, they're, they're, the America wants it to sell. Or the Congress says if they don't sell, they're, they're going to get rid of TikTok. But TikTok is is Chinese company, right? It is. But they, it's America. They can God do. damn Chinese. God now, damn did, them. Didn't we say... I did it about, again, didn't I? Oh my you God. You did that on purpose. No, I didn't. Come on. You did it on purpose. I did not do it on you're, purpose. You're such a knucklehead. <laughs> All right. Let's get right into 10 to 1. You know, what? let's go to 10 to 1. What's 10 to 1? Where we... <laughs> oh, you mean the 10th place, the first place? Okay. For now, I want to say How something. How long have we been doing this show? And do you remember all the bits that we do? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. 10 to 1. Finishing in 10th place, Esteban Ocon. What do you guys say about that? Um, That car sucks so bad this year. Don't I can't believe fail me you again. 10th. He finished 10th, which I thought was awesome. And if you looked at that first, the straight, and the, going into the first turn where Ocon and Gasly were this close to each other, uh-huh. I thought Ocon was going to put him into a wall. I mean, like he did before. That was, that was, that was just, uh, even Martin oh, Blundell, man. who I don't really like, Brundle, Brundle, yeah, whatever. Uh-huh, Brundle. I don't really like him that much. But he did say something really profound. Like those, said. those two went through like three or four corners. Which right you there. should never have gone next to each other. Next to each other, and it was right like right. very. It was very impressive because Ocon is known for not being very good. He keeps. <laughs> he, he runs into his teammates that one year yeah. at, at Azerbaijan, yes. where the racing points were like going to win the race, and he took Perez. He took Checo out, and like, and never apologized. And then that year at at Brazil, where he took Max out. When Max was leading the and, race. And Ocon was a back marker. And o- Ocon just shoot what the what? And, and <laughs> he was and, lapped. And, he was and lapped. Max pushed him. And it was so far. I would have killed that. I would have. No, I would have punched him in the face. I wouldn't have been like, oh. I like, mean, that's that's what Max did. Me. I would have been like, uh. He Asshole. had qualified in 13th, so that was a good race from Esteban. And it looks like Alpine's car is kind of coming into... You know, Alpine's car is a piece of junk. Yeah, but it's getting better. And the reason why I say it's getting better is because it was racy. I mean, he finished in tenth, so he beat a lot of people. He beat the Haas and he beat okay, the Steak ha- and the, all those I gotta guys. Give, I gotta give, we gotta give props beat, out to the Haas. Today. We'll, we'll get to them. We'll get to them. Let's and, and stick to the. the list? Let's the list? skip to the ten to one script. Who is in ninth? Stay on the script. <laughs> That's why I have a format so you can stay on point. <laughs> All Ooh, right, who's in who's in, in ninth, ninth place? And he had qualified fifteenth. Fernando Alonso. Really, he came yeah. in ninth. Yeah, 
Fernando came in ninth. Because he said he 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 had a he admitted he had a horrible weekend. Oh, did he? He said he's like I was I, I sucked in qualifying. I sucked in the sprint race. He came in ninth. He came in ninth. That dude is still the goat. I mean, well, he's not the goat. I think he's the goat. I he's think he's the, the best goat. driver. It's not. It was like him and Schumacher when he's when, not. He's what? not better than Lewis. What? He's not. Fernando Alonso is not better than Lewis. Okay, Sherman doesn't. He's not. It's I, Schumacher. It's Schumacher, Lewis, and Senna, like all tied at the hip. No, and Alonso is one of the greatest drivers ever in the history of the world. He's up there with every. He's not better okay. than Hamilton. Oh my god, I got to take Sherman. I'm gonna. He's I'm not gonna, better than I'm, Schumacher. I'm calling tomorrow, and I'm gonna get you a all day right, at the we track. Go. We're gonna do. And this. Russell finished in eighth place. He had a pretty. That, uh, that, like, that car sucks. He qualified in seventh. He had a pretty boring race when you think about it. They never really showed him on camera during the race because he never passed anybody. Well, he went the, backwards. The he, Haas team was like right next to a Mercedes. What the hell was that about? I'm like, I'm still confused. And he couldn't pass Yuki, who was in front of him for, I don't know, 15, 20 laps. Yuki was ahead of him. He, he couldn't. He Russell just didn't have the pace. Uh, he was a second slower than Hamilton on, on the paces. And Sometimes he just has an uneventful race where they don't even show him on TV. I don't even think that I saw him. One time I saw him is when he was behind Yuki. Yeah. Right? Did you see him on TV? You see him on camera? All I, all I know is I, I saw like, um, okay, the worst drive of, of the day has to be Magnus. And he... Well, let's, we'll get to him later. Right. Stick, let's stick on this trip. In seventh place, and I'm so happy that the commentators finally gave Yuki Sonoda, who I've been telling you guys for two years is a good driver, and now, just like I told you, Carl Science put respect on his name, Now, and I told you before, put respect on Yuki's name, now everybody is coming to say, yes, Yuki belongs in Formula One. Yuki's not That was a great, good. that was a good drive by Yuki. Seventh. He wobbles through the corner, he seventh, slides the car and too much. And he qualified tenth, so he Three places, solid qualifying, solid race from Yuki Sonoda. All right. In sixth place, Lewis Hamilton was super racy this weekend. No, he wasn't. He was super racy. He was racy. fighting with him, a hoss the whole time. He qualified in eighth. He moved up two places, and he was right. He was keeping up with Perez for quite some time. Do you see how un- unhappy Lewis is right now at Mercedes? He, I've never seen him like this in his whole career. Where he's like, this car sucks so bad. And he came in what place again? Six. Yeah, okay. Lewis should be at the... At, he's the he's the best driver of his generation yeah, well, by a lot. Yeah, he needs a car. And he, I think he, well, he's he, going, had, he had a good weekend. Well, he's going to Ferrari next year where Adrian Newey is, 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 is planning to go. Carlos Unless, Sainz, who finished fourth but got a five-second penalty oh, did he? <laughs> for crashing into Oscar Piastri and finished in fifth place. And... Two things I have to say about Carlos's race. One, there was a time he was following Charles Leclerc, uh-huh. and he was kind of complaining like like he's faster, like he had faster pace. And then, as soon as Charles heard that, he put like super distance on him and smoked him. And so he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to do that. Like, oh, he wanted them to move, like move over, so he can see if he can catch up to uh, Verstappen, which wasn't going to happen. But at that time, I think he wanted to catch up to Perez, who was ahead of him. Or, no, it was Piastri who was ahead, actually, at that time. And he finished... I thought he was. I thought that was a try to... I thought it was a clumsy pass on, on Piastri. That's why he picked up that damage. Clumsy. Okay. So he got fifth. Well, you, you, you love all the hack drivers in Formula 1. And I can't figure in, this out. Fourth place was Checo Perez, who had a wow. He almost started some that that the, the oh, in the beginning. Uh, the Talk beginning. about that. Wow. Talk about that, that. was like that was. he made a huge mistake. That luckily, is he almost took out Max. He almost. It, it was, was so close. It was it so was like close by a centimeter, and I I don't know what a centimeter is, but it was so close. <laughs> <laughs> it was a centimeter. <laughs> oh. And like even even uh Leclerc and Science were like, oh, he made a huge mistake, and like we had to back out of it, and then Piastri got by, and I thought Piastri was actually catching Max. And where did he finish? 
Well, he finished like 16th or 15th. What? 13th. 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 What 13th. happened? To, oh, was it that sa- the safety car? He no, up? no. He had, um, when um, Carlos Sainz passed him, he damaged his front wing and he had, they had to box him and change his front wing. All right. And so he was, and he had qualified six. He was having a great race. He was in the top three. And then uh, Carlos tried to force his way past him. And he clipped that wing, and he had to take off the wing, because, and which was a good move because they, it looked like he could have kept going and probably finished in the points. But what if the wing came off, and then another safety car? Then that would have damaged uh, Lando Norris's race. So I thought that was a good move by McLaren to bring him in. All right, but who who came in? Uh, Charles Leclerc finished Fourth. in third. He had qualified second. A uh, pretty good race, but. Charles, I mean, he moved back one space, but that's about where his pace was that day on the street track. Third, that was that was good good race for him. He put some time on uh, Carlos Sainz and kind of showed his dominance a little bit because you know Sainz is, was kind of feeling himself, and then uh, Leclerc kind of showed him, hey, this weekend, hey man, I'm still the guy. You're the guy. He's the guy, not right. me. I don't know. Uh, the guy. You, you know this guy. I don't know this guy. Hey, 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 Adrian. All right. Yo, Adrian, yeah. Finishing in second place, Super Max Verstappen, who was on pole, got a great start. He, he led half the race. He got a great start, and Checo almost took him out, which would have been great. Oh God, that would have been. <laughs> that would have been. Oh, that oh, so and great. then they're like, oh. Oh, oh man, the whining and the crying and the bitching. That would have took place if Checo took him out. But he didn't. It would have been almost as delicious as the 2016 Spanish Grand Prix where Lewis and, and Rosberg took each other out on oh, the first. Yeah, and that, that was, was Max's great. first win, by the way. That was great, too. Max has been in Formula One for so freaking long now. And Came in at 17. To so say he was 17, remember, I, and I don't know why I know this, but his birthday is at the end of September. So he was 17 for like most of that season. Mm hmm. And it's just, I don't know. I don't. I don't know where he's going. I. I don't think he's going to go to Mercedes. No, I think he's just going to hang out at Red Bull. And then when the regulations change, he's going to see how the car is working in the off season. And if it's not working, he'll probably retire. I don't know. I. He, I, he doesn't, I, I think these drivers are going to start driving like like, and they're going to be like more like Alonso, and they're going to drive. No. I, <laughs> Max like, Max doesn't seem like a guy who wants to be around. Ah, uh, they for always 20 say years. that. But remember, no, he just doesn't. He just doesn't. Kimi said he was only going to drive till he was like thirty, and then he drove till he was like in his mid forties. I mean, what do you? Yeah, t- true. Well, we'll see. In first place, qualifying. Who, fifth, who won the race? Lando. Chewbacca. Calrissian. Who's Calrissian? Wookie. Oh, God. Norris. <sighs> and since he had Trump, you know, that's something we'll talk about. But he had Trump there. Oh, God. Tr- didn't Trump get a, like a standing ovation for being we Trump? We would be honored if you would join us. What are you doing? I would build a great wall. So nobody builds Trump was at. Than me, believe me. And I'll build a <laughs> very expensive. My favorite person oh, ever. Ah, ah, ah. Ba, 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 ba. Mm. So Trump was at the McLaren garage and there's a huge controversy. All these women and all these people from around the world were like, why are you having Trump at your thing? But then other people on the opposite side were like, yeah, Trump, go, go Trump, go make America great again. If you want to vote for a cult leader, vote for Trump. Well... We, we don't get into politics. We don't tell people who to vote for. People are free to do what they I didn't tell wish. anyone to vote for anybody. I said, um, if you want to, a cult leader, on, vote let, for Trump. Let, come on. Let's, 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 come on. Let's not disparage Mr. Trump's name. I don't need any lawsuits. You okay? mean President Trump. President Trump. Don't, don't, let's not disparage him because I don't want any lawsuits. Well, he's going okay? to prison, so. I, I don't want any lawsuits. Let's, 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 <laughs> he's okay, go to stop. Prison. All right. The controversy is, is they're saying, well, that's a political statement having uh, Donald Trump in your garage and the FIA said that there's no political statements. But he's the former president and even though he's running for office, he wasn't like out there campaigning. He just showed up. And so you can't really say 
thought that, he was totally campaigning. What are you no, talking about? I'm just about? saying, if Biden showed up, he could go. I mean, he probably Biden ain't going to that Formula One race. What are you talking probably about? Probably too loud for him. But I'm just saying, you can't. Trump lives down if, the block from the Formula yes, One race. Yes, exactly. So Trump lives in Florida, and yeah, I mean, he has Mar-a-Lago in Florida, but. Florida's a Republican state, so of course he can go to the damn race if he wants he's to. He's not even a Republican. But he is. He runs- no, no, no. He's a de- he's a lifelong Democrat. He only ran on the Republican Party because he couldn't I, I, run as a Democrat. I, I, the end. Me, shut up, Mike. D- re- Democrats he, aren't going to vote for a cult leader. still a Republican. He's not a Republican. He, he runs on the Republican ticket, Mike. <laughs> You can run on whatever ticket you want, oh. but he is not a Republican. Oh, Anyways, God. move on. Move on from this. We're not going to do politics. Why do you keep messing up? <laughs> why, why do I have to? All right. Let's talk... Pastor Oscar Piastri had. He was in second place for a long time. For a very long time. He I had a good race. He's racy. I like Oscar. No, well, he's good. He's a good driver. He's a good driver. I like Oscar because he doesn't complain. He just does his job. And I'd love to see a little bit more personality from Oscar on the interviews. I actually would love to see a little bit more Oscar. And we don't want to not shine the light on. Such a great McLaren weekend. I think he played the team game because they told him, don't try to pass him because you're going to compromise Lando's race. And he kind of just hung back because he wasn't going to score any points once his wing was damaged. So let's just let Oscar not mess up Lando's race. And he did that. He's such a team player. I love Oscar Piastri. He's one of the guys that I'm really taking a shine to. Ah. It depends on the car. It's all about the car. It's like you you love all these hack drivers, but I mean, why do you always call my guys hacks? You, you tell me, Carl Sainz is a hack? Yeah, he's not. He's a number two driver. He's not. He's gonna be a number he's one driver. Never gonna win a championship uh, yeah. unless he gets on a team. If he, if he goes to the Audi team and the Audi team turns out to be like what Audi did in the in the in the WEC for in the two thousands. But uh, we, we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know where he's going to go. More than likely, wherever Adrian Newey goes, that's the team that's going to win all the goddamn races. Because the, 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 there it is again. Stop it. Don't what? curse like that. What did I say? You said GD. Oh, God. Again. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. We've just talked about it. Self control. I'm going to have to have a swear jar here. All right. right. Magnuson was probably the craziest weekend i mean he's not a good driver he, he, needs to, he before he, we said he was an the average formula one driver after this weekend i say no i i he uh, it he, was he dive bombed that was hamilton attractive. like a bunch of and a bunch of times you okay i want to explain to everyone out there in, in youtube world what a dive bomb is the only time you dive bomb spotify somebody to spotify and spotify amazon apple wherever the hell we're at um when you dive bomb somebody, that's that's a form of disrespect to your your fellow drivers. You can't. If someone does something to me, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna retaliate, it's gonna be dive bombing them. What he did to Hamilton the other day was just insane. Hamilton got by him. He went way past his braking zone multiple times, not once, but multiple times. I was when I was watching that, I was like, oh, this is this is very bad for. For him, and it's very bad for Mercedes to be dueling it with a Haas. I mean, they should not be back. Yeah, they, in the they, sprint race, it was. They uh, should not be behind with a Haas. It was the hard. Haas, the Haas is that is the best privateer team in the history of Formula One. They always hit above their weight. Always, even when they had Mazda spin on the team and Mick Schumacher. When they went into that season with that old car, I was like, "Oh, this isn't going to be good." And it was it was bad the whole season. And Mick Schumacher is not a Formula One driver. He's just not. He's never going to get another shot. But what they have right now, they have Nico Hulkenberg, who for some reason wasn't in Formula One for two or three years. And now he's going to be at the Audi team. He's going to win races. He might win a championship at the Audi team. If Nico Hulkenberg... First of all, I can't wait for him just to get a podium. Okay? Okay, a podium is like, to me, it's like... He hasn't he, had a podium yet. Well, he's never been on a on a good enough team. He was on he was on the I mean, where, where was he at? He was at Williams. Then mm-hmm. he was at Sauber. Yes. Then he was at Renault when yes. Renault was like 
It was actually decent. We're, no, we're gonna we're there, gonna we're wait. gonna we're gonna start a race team, and we're not gonna put money into the race team. We're gonna try to do it a different way. When he was at Renault, he had a couple races where he could have scored a podium, but he botched it. Man, he botched mm. it. He cooked his tires at Baku, and another race he crashed at. There's been a, he's had more than his chances to get a podium. But what I want to say about Nico, I, first of all, I love Nico Hulkenberg. Love him. I think he's great hair, consummate professional. He, he yeah, he has great, great hair, hair, great hair, great hair. <laughs> great hair. He, and of all the people who, other than I'm so happy for Lando winning that race, I would be super ecstatic, and I would almost fly to Germany just to party with Nico when he finally wins a race yeah. or gets a podium because I I think he deserves it out of all the people. In Formula One, I mean, this is the guy who has the longest tenure in Formula One without a, even a podium, and he deserves who, it. Nico, man. yes, he Hulkenberg. deserves it. Nico Hulkenberg. Well, I, I want to see what this this Audi team is going to become because they at and the the people who started the Audi Formula One team aren't at Audi anymore, and but now the new people, which I didn't think was going to happen, they bought the whole team. They own the Sauber team now. Sauber does not own. Anything with with that? They're still going to call it Audi Sauber, aren't they? No, it's just going to be the Audi team. It's going to be the Audi Formula One team in twenty twenty six. And Honda's going to have the engine. No, Audi's going to make their own engine. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Audi's going to make their own engine. Yeah, for sure. They're they're a works team. They're going to be right. a works team. That that team is going to be. I, I don't know because their history in racing is like, especially in the two thousands, mm-hmm. in the World Endurance Championship, they won. Every goddamn year. Here we go again. What? What's wrong? Oh, did I say every goddamn year? Yes. You can't well, say come goddamn. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, they won every year. Come on. And um, just they're the, they're, they were the best team. So I'm just wondering if they're going to be able to transfer that from um, that that series to this mm-hmm. series. Because a lot of teams have come into Formula One. Well, we're going to talk about the, the Toyota team for a minute. They spent so much money on their team, and mm-hmm. they never won a race. Toyota? Toyota never won. They sp- Supposedly, one year, that team spent $650 million on that team. Oh, wow. And they didn't win a race. No cost gap there. <laughs> and they had good drivers. They had Matt, They had um, they had Ralph Schumacher and they had Yano Trulli, both race winners mm-hmm. with other teams, and they never won a race. It was just, it's insane. V-Cab. v Carb, V cab. No, they're called they're called RB now. That's yeah. the that's the name of the team. Yeah. R the RB team. V cab, Visa Cash app. RMB. Toro Rosso. They had a great weekend. You oh, had, oh, Daniel you had Ricardo scoring. He he, he drove a place? great race in the sprint race. A Fourth place race. in the sprint race and getting points there. And then you had Yuki following it up. With points in the main race, which was kind of strange that Daniel didn't qualify a lot better for the main race. Yeah, he, he, he said so he, he said he made a mistake in the uh, in the qualifying. Mm. So. And that car, that 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 the Toro Rosso or whatever the hell they call it now, is not they, a good car. Piece of cash app. It's looking better. It looks like it's the best of the the other teams, other than like Mercedes and Aston Martin are fighting it out. But other than those top five teams, they look like the best team out of the rest. Best of the rest, as they say. I don't know. I, I was. They got the most points. Well, okay. One person I want to talk about real quick who's not going to be in Formula One probably in the next race is Logan, Logan Sargent? Sargent. So Logan Sargent got hit by Kevin Magnuson, and that was a <laughs> insane he, he hit, crash. He oh, oh, that's right. That was yeah. at the end of the race, right? Yeah, that was an insane crash. That that's what brought out the safety car, and that's what that's why probably Lando sealed won. Lando's victory right there. So we give a shout out to Kevin Magnuson, the torpedo, no, the missile. No, no, no. What Chris, do you mean? Chris, it's the tor- torpedo, right? No, no. The torpedo is what's his name? What's that Russian dude? So name? what do you call him? The missile? No, no. no. Lewis called him the. What's his? No, guy? Kevin Magnuson. They call him the torpedo. Dude. No, 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 no. What it's do you mean, a, nah. No, somebody else has that nickname. What's his name? Kevin Magnuson. No, it's not Christian Clean. It's somebody else. It's the oh, Russian guy. Oh, Kivia. Ke- 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 Daniel Kivia. He's the torpedo. So what, what are we <laughs> going to call Kevin Magnuson? We're just going to call him an ex-Formula One driver because he ain't going to be in that car next year. He had a really 
I'm, we're going back to this. He had a really bad weekend. He, he looked He does horrible. this all the time in his career. This is remember his he looked first, horrible. This his weekend. first year in Formula One was in in the McLaren when the McLaren was still supposedly the. This is when they're the 2014 season. He came into Formula One, and his first race he drove a great race at the Australian Grand Prix, mm-hmm. and then after that it's just been total shit since then and remember he was out of formula one for almost a, a season yeah and they called him back because of mazespin's uh parents are part of the um the thing that's going on in uh russia Ru- uh, russia or, or the ukraine or and they right it's still going it's been going on for two years now and how russia didn't just roll over the ukraine is bizarre well the thing that the good thing about Kevin Magnuson is he's playing the team game. He's like, well, I already got a 10-second penalty. I might as well cut the chicane. I might as well go off track. I might as well dive bomb. I might as well do everything I can to keep people behind me so Hulkenberg can go off into the sunset. And that's what he did in the sprint race. And that's what he was trying to do. In Oh, Hulkenberg the- waxed Magnuson. It made Magnuson look like... He, Mag- remember when Magnuson came in... It was him and Schumacher, right? Mm-hmm. And he waxed Schumacher. He destroyed him. Um, and now a better driver of Nico. The only reason Nico Hulkenberg wasn't in Formula One is because of of, of Stroll. Because if Stroll hadn't bought the team, I mean, there wouldn't there wouldn't have been a racing point. That team would have been liquidated the end. Right. Because the dude who owned it, uh, VJ, whatever his name is, um, is still. I found out why he when I was in in Thailand. Somebody told me why he was being sought after by the Indian government because he didn't bribe the government officials. <laughs> that's what the whole re, that's what that whole thing was about. And they liquidated all his money. They took all his money, basically all his money, and they he, put him in jail, didn't they? No, nope, he's not in jail. He's still in England. He can't. They can't. He can't go back to India or he'll go to prison. So he should have just bribed them. He, yeah, he made. I mean, that, just, that's what the guy told me, and I was like, "What?" Yeah, I mean, because remember, he owned Kingfisher Airlines, right. which doesn't exist anymore. So, yeah, because I mean, he didn't bribe the government officials. Because in America, all you have to do is pay the senators to do what you want. That's it. That's it's it's the the American way now. Yeah. Well, you, okay, you no said more you poli- weren't going to talk about politics. No more politics. And what's you've mentioned what's- like three or four things about <laughs> politics. Hey, have another drink. I was going to say that Haas definitely punching above their weight. I think the new there's been three really good principals this year, or two. Uh, McLaren. Andre Stella. Yes, and Haas's principal. The Japanese guy. Yes. Who's the, the, he used to be the designer for the car, and now he's the print. Because, and Gunther Steiner is going to come back somewhere. Yeah, but you know what? It shows a big contrast in styles. This guy has really done a great job with Haas. I think, because they said their car sucked at the beginning of the year. Know, I think he's done a great job. Yeah, but whatever. Well, I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's like it's one of those teams that they don't have any money. Uh, they only have they have half the budget of everybody else. And they have half the people too. They only have like three or four hundred people. But working then you on switch team. to Vols with Williams, and Williams looks like they're going backwards. I mean, they're not well, even Williams close car to the isn't very. Right it's, it's not very good this year. It's weird because their car last year was a little better. But um, and he hired a technical director. They didn't have one before, and the car just is car not. Like a, it's yeah, not very good. I'm not going to say it's a dog, but it's a dog. I dog. mean, Albon's not doing much of anything. He's like he can't do anything because he's, he's, he's in, for twelfth and thirteenth. See, this is this is my major problem with Formula One is when someone has a car mm-hmm. that's not good, mm-hmm. you're sort of screwed. Because this is like twenty five years ago, Jensen Button and Fisher Keller were on the Renault team. It was called it was still called the Benetton team at the time. And they had a car that was like 40 or 50 horsepower off the pace. And Fischichella waxed Button. But it didn't matter because they were in a, a crappy car. So mm-hmm. it, it was like, it doesn't, it, so what, he was better in a, in, a, in, a, in a car that wasn't very good. Right. It was like, I mean, it was, it's like a lot of times when you see this happen, like Albon and, Sh- and Sargent, 
Albon's always quicker than Sargent because Sargent isn't a Formula One driver. When Fisher Kellen and Button, Button was a way better driver than, than Fisher Kellen, but he wasn't in a car that he could do it in. And the same thing has happened with Ricardo the last few years. When he went to McLaren, that was a huge mistake to go to McLaren because they made that car for Lando and it did not work for Ricardo. He, but he did win a race at McLaren. He did. Um, so it's like the car, it's, Formula One is all about the car. That's the main point in the car. And when Adrian Newey goes to, to Ferrari, Lewis Hamilton's going to win three more championships. That's my prediction. What do you think about this stake out of all the cars? Do you think the stake F1 car is the worst car? No, I think the Williams is the worst car right now. But, I mean, Botas, for I don't know how, but sometimes he's actually qualifying in the top 10. No, he's Botas, actually getting the third quality with that stake Botas F1 car. Botas should be on a good team. He has no re- I don't know why he's on this freaking team, because he was at Mercedes, and he was like a tenth off of Lewis all the time. And then that one race at the, uh, at the Red Bull ring, mm-hmm. remember when he started... And, and Vettel was behind him, and Vettel's like, hey, he had the greatest start ever in a race. Botas? Botas did, and he won the race, and and, and Sebastian's on the radar. I'm like, I think he, he uh, that was a jump start, and they went and looked at it like over and over and, and over. Right at the- and it was like, he killed, it was like one of the, it was like the great start ever. And and Vettel's like, what the hell's going on, you know? But, and. Well, I can say. That I spotted, I'm good with spotting this talent. I'm gonna tell you what talent I was in Canada. I went to the Canadian Grand Prix, you know, eons ago, and Valtteri was in the Williams in the rain and Did watching he, him in the rain. He finished was he, like, was he good? He was very good, but watching him in the rain, I said right then, This guy's a good driver, he's gonna make it to a top team. And then within, I think, was it two years from that? I saw him he, right to Mercedes. Yeah, Lewis, Lewis didn't like Mercedes putting uh, Russell in the car. No, he, he'd rather have... Uh, Ve- if, if it was it was Botas there, because they were a good team, they mm-hmm. were actually positive. Because remember, Ve- uh, um, Hamilton went from him and Rosberg to him and, and Botas, and it was like, supposedly even... Um, Nikki Lauda said that uh, that um, Rosberg and Hamilton didn't even talk to each other. They wouldn't even say good morning to each other when they were at work. That's how bad it was there. Well, it was like hor- It was like a horrible, toxic work environment. Well, he said that Valtteri is his favorite teammate of, of everybody, and he said that they actually spend time together and he, they just have a good time. They just they generally have a mutual respect. And they like each other. But so, I don't know why they put Russell in the car. I still haven't figured that. Well, and if they think, and I said this before, and if they're going after Carlos Sainz and they were going after all these other people, now obviously they're still offering Max Verstappen a boatload of money, which he probably won't go to Mercedes. Oh, I think he's probably going to go to Mercedes. I, I don't think he's going to, no one's going to stay at Red Bull. Red Bull's, you don't think so? Red Bull is a sinking ship. Everybody's gonna jump off that boat. It's gonna like the rats are jumping off the boat, right? Adrian's the first guy to leave. Max is gonna leave. Then what's his name? Who's the other the other guy? The eighty year old idiot who works. Helmut Marco. Marco's gonna leave, and then it's just gonna be Christian Horner and the Ty family, and then they're gonna be fucked because no one's gonna stay at that team now, unless all you know. And then they had the Ford engine, which isn't the Ford engine because they're gonna build their own engines now. So that's gonna be interesting. No, it's not. They're not going to win. They're not without Adrian Newey and without the Honda. They're not going to win. They're they're going to be they're going to be the Mercedes right now. This is what in twenty twenty six Red Bull and maybe even twenty twenty five because I think the because um, Newey's going to be gone. Oh, Newey's already gone. He he can go to another team in twenty twenty five. Right. So whoever gets Newey and it's probably going to be Ferrari because I think he's going to go to Ferrari. I would, um, but I would love for him to go back to where it all started at Williams. He's not going back to Williams. I, but they, they, I would they, love it. They're not going to pay him $25 million a year at, at Williams. No. They're going to pay him $25 million a year at, at Ferrari for sure. Yeah. And they're going to let him like, you can work at home, you can work in Italy, you can work in America, whatever. You you want to go drive your boat down in Monaco, go drive your boat. But then, and, and another thing about Nui, he might just retire. He might. 
You know, he might he just might. be like, you know, I, I have, I think he has thirteen championships now. Yeah, he might retire. That's insane. He might retire. He might just go. I got this. He's boat. sixty-five years old. Oh, gonna... But then again, I don't think he's going to retire. I think he's going. To, I think he, I definitely think he's going to look good in red. I think he's going to Ferrari, and I think him and Hamilton are going to win three more championships together. So, be prepared for Ferrari to be at the tip because Hamilton is going to wax Leclerc. He's going to beat the. He's going to beat him bad. But Leclerc did beat Vettel. So Leclerc's quick over one lap, man. He's fast. He's the best qualifier on the grid right now. I don't know about all. No, he's not. He, Max is the best qualifier. Yeah, but on the grid. Leclerc puts the Ferrari on pole quite a quite a few times. He's. I think he has the worst conversion rate. I think he has like twenty five poles, but only like five victories. He has the yeah, worst. Yeah, like he has you, the worst pole to con, win conversion rate in history. Probably. Usually, when you qualify on the pole, you usually win like eighty percent of the time. Yeah, not 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 Charles. Not Leclerc, that dude. <laughs> Well, he races for a Ferrari team, which can't can't decide when they're going to pit. Okay, what's next? Well, that's actually it. I actually wanted. to... We don't s- have conspiracy. Wait, wait what anything? do you think about? No, we. What conspiracy? Oh, there's no Lando conspiracy. Norris won. There's no conspiracy. Right. He's great. I'm so ecstatic. You think he partied like nobody's business last night? He's, none of these guys party. They're fucking dude, dorks. They're dork musicians. They're dork. Give me a break, dude. You don't think that he. Hamilton took him out on the town. Oh, Come I, on, I you know, no you know, Lewis. Fuck, all the freaking stars were there. He probably called up Dwayne Wade and some of the other uh, <laughs> stars down there and said, "Man, this guy finally got a victory. Let's go to the strip club. Let's go." Okay, what's the last thing you want to talk about? Doobie? No, we're gonna. So this episode's gonna come out tonight, and then after I do my magic, and then Thursday we're gonna put out Alex Vogel's. Um, Show Ooh. Alex Vogel, who's that? Alex Vogel, who drives for oh, GT you're, you're, America right. and the Mercedes Benz AMG OnlyFans 43 car. <laughs> He's an did an interview fans car. <laughs> with, <laughs> we did an interview with Alex, and that interview will be posting on Thursday. So look forward to that. What? Watch me and my wife have sex with our next door neighbor, OnlyFans car. <laughs> <laughs> so be looking out for that. That That's interview funny. will be posted this week. And thank you, everyone, for joining us on our Miami Grand Prix review. And give a shout-out to Doobie. The or it's W. We don't know yet. The, we, we have to, we're, we're Lando gonna... Norris, first victory at the Miami Grand Prix. He did I, good. I've actually watched it twice. What? I'm probably watching you it. You watched that boring race twice? I did, just to see. <laughs> I watched the end just to see the elation. On Lando's face and the happiness and that all the track drivers is the single worst track in Formula One. And right all the now. drivers coming over and congratulating him. I love that. I love that. I love <laughs> that. I love that Lando has gotten that monkey off his back. And I think he might win another race this year. What do you think? I don't know. I have I any, any place that's not a street circuit, the Red Bull's gonna kick the shit out of everybody at the end. Remember everyone to like, subscribe, comment hey, on our channel, this year? and remember that Doobie Energy Drink. Doobie, Doobie gives you our more w, focus, we, we don't know more energy, and it's more fun. And there's Get no your Doobie today. And there's no marijuana in it, which is shocking to me. Put <laughs> your code in America F one. That's M E R I C A F one at Doobie Energy Drink. Right now, you can get 25% off, and if you use our code, you're going to get another 10% off, so that's 35% off of Doobie Energy Drink. And my, my, my ear infection is over now. Sherman can put the picture of my ear infection up there or down there. Do you want to see it? No. And <laughs> on that note, keep ciao, on ciao. racing, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing.